I'm now going to explain how phototropism is controlled by auxins. So in the tip of a shoot is where you find auxins. Auxins are a hormone. So as you can see here, I'm drawing dots that represent auxins and they exist in the tips of the shoots. The auxins are going to move down the shoot. They move down the shoot to the shaded region of the shoot. I've now added a light source. So I'm now going to explain how the shoot is going to bend towards the light because of auxins. The auxins are gonna move down the plant, but they're gonna to move to the shaded region. So I've shown here that they're moving to the shaded region of the shoot. Now the auxins have accumulated in the shaded region of the shoot. The auxins are gonna cause the cells in the shaded region, because that's where the auxins are, to grow quicker. So these cells are going to elongate more quickly. So the auxins are going to cause the plant cells to elongate more quickly. So the rear side of the shoot, its cells are going to grow more quickly and where there are no auxins, they're gonna grow more slowly. As you can see, this is gonna cause a bending of the shoot towards the light. The faster that one side of the shoot will grow will mean that the shoot is going to bend more towards the light. So in summary, auxins move to the shaded region of the shoot. Auxins cause cell elongation to happen more quickly. The shoot now bends towards the light because cells in the shaded region elongate quicker than the non-shaded region. So the shoot bends towards the light. I'm now going to explain how phototropism controlled by auxins in the shoots of plants was proven. So if the shoot is intact, so if the shoot of a plant is intact, the shoot of a plant is going to bend towards the light. So if the shoot is intact, the shoot bends towards the light. This is because the auxins move down the plant to the shaded region and cause the cell elongation in the shaded region, causing the shoot to bend towards the light. However, in the next experiment, if you place a black opaque cap on the shoot of a plant, so if the shoot tip is covered with a black cap and you add a directional light source to it, the shoot will grow straight upwards. It will not bend towards the light. So there is no bending in the shoot of the plant. There is no bending because the auxins, they remain in the shoot tip. This is because this is a shaded region and there is no elongation in either side of the shoot. So it grows upwards without any bending. In the next experiment, a transparent plastic cap was placed on the shoot tip. So now you've got a transparent cap covering the shoot tip. So if you add a directional light source to the shoot, then the shoot is going to grow towards the light. So there will be bending in the shoot. So that means the shoot is going to bend towards the light. This shows that auxins are sensitive to light and will move down to the shaded region of the shoot, causing the cells in the shaded region to grow quicker than the non-shaded region. Darwin determined that something in the shoot determines the direction that the shoot grows. Also determine that the shoot grows towards light. I'm now going to go through some of the later experiments that proved phototropism. In this experiment here, the tip of the shoot was removed. And when a directional light source was placed next to it, the shoot just grew straight upwards without any bending towards the light. This showed that whatever was controlling the bending of the shoot existed in the tip of the shoot. In the next experiment, the tip of the shoot was removed and replaced with an impermeable block between the tip and the shoot when the shoot's tip was replaced back on. So the auxins that exist in the tip of the shoot could not pass through the impermeable block down the tip of the shoot. So the auxins could not move to the shaded region of the shoot. Therefore, there was no bending. In the last experiment we're gonna go through, a permeable block was placed between the tip and the shoot. So the tip was removed and replaced with a permeable block between the tip and the shoot, and then the tip was replaced back onto the shoot itself. Because the block was permeable, the auxins could move down from the tip, down the shoot to the shaded region of the shoot. This meant that the auxins could stimulate the growth of cell elongation in the shaded region, causing the shoot to bend towards the light. So the auxins moved to the shaded region of the shoot and then the shoot bends towards the light. So what did experiment one show us? 
that auxins are produced in the tip of the shoot. So what did experiments two and three show us? Well, they showed us that auxins move through the plant. Also, how auxins affect the direction the shoot bends. When a seed germinates, the shoot where the leaves are needs to grow upwards towards light, but the roots need to grow downwards towards moisture and minerals. So gravitropism is when auxins are going to fall to the bottom of the root due to gravity. So the auxins are going to fall to the bottom of the root due to gravity. And auxins in the root inhibit cell elongation, whereas auxins in the shoot stimulate cell elongation, auxins in the root do the opposite. They inhibit cell elongation. So where there are auxins, the cells are not going to elongate as quickly as where there are no auxins. So where there are no auxins in the root, the cells are going to elongate more quickly and bend downwards. So the root bends downwards to anchor the plant and reach moisture underground.